Hi, I'm Haley with Silver Moon Branding and Design, and today I'm going to be creating a Fernanda style bottle using Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Dimension. So let's get to it. All right, so first I'm going to open up a new Illustrator document, and I have my reference file here. You can see it is a bottle, Fernanda style, and it's frosted. So we'll get to play with some textures and I think it's a fun challenge. Um, here we go. I'm dragging in the bottle and I'm going to lock that layer. Then I will draw that rectangle around the base. And then I'm gonna draw a rectangle so that we can get our center line. So we have a really nice proportional bottle. I drew that rectangle, I placed my guide. So now I don't need this rectangle anymore. And we'll start with the base. So I use my handy pen tool to develop this shape. I'm starting with the outside outline, just following the curve. Um, this one has like a fuzzy outline, so I'm just trying to keep it all proportional. It doesn't have to be exact exact, but the closer, the better. And as I approach the top, I'm going to make these two separate objects because the finish is different on each. So the top is glossy and the base is not. And so I will stop there. I don't need this inset line. Um, and then I will clean up this angle using the smooth brush tool. kind of like how this bubbles out. I think that gives it a nice authentic shape. And there we have the outline. I'm happy with that. Next, we're gonna create the inset line. So I nudge over with option arrow and I make the stroke bigger. That looks like it would be the thickness of the glass. So I will come to object path outline stroke and flip so it's an outline fill come over to my scissors tool and i will trim the outside dots all right and then we don't need this outside line we just need the inside one i'll change my anchor points to line up with that outside line and there's the glass it does look like the base is a little bit thicker, so I'm going to take this inside line and I'm going to move it up to match that thickness. And it just takes a little finessing with the Bezier curves, these anchor points, to make that happen. But I think I'm pretty happy with this. I'll smooth out those lines again. Okay. And then I highlight both of those paths and we need to join them. So I hit Command J to give me that one shape and we can see that it is one shape when I do this. All right, so that's part one. The next part I'm going to do is this section. And the way that I'm gonna do it is I'm going to start here. Okay, dokey. So I need to have this donut effect. And then I want to curve this edge. All right, and then we need to make that inside line. So actually we can keep this open at the top because we're gonna want that opening there. So we don't need to have the inside match the curve because when you pour from a bottle that inside is molded straight and this thickness is a little bit different. So we're gonna go with this. Um, I will bring this point out and we'll just see how this goes. I have a different method if this doesn't work. Um, so then we'll revolve. I need to flip that inside. Okay, we'll see how that goes once we get to dimension and we'll revolve this too. So you can see that we have, let me change the color. I mean, this makes it easier to see that there's a hollow opening and a hollow point there and we'll see how this goes. So then we come here and we click export selection. This will be bottle frosted. 
And then this will be the opening bottle opening and make sure both of these are selected in this drop down format menu click obj and then export and then we will start a new document in adobe dimension there we are and then i'll start with the base and i will drag that in there we go <laughs> my computer fans already on like high alert Okay, and then we'll add the mouthpiece there. Um, so this will be the opening, and this is the bottle. And we select both of those layers, come to our Align tool, and we click these toggles to center them. And then come back to our arrow tool, and we move the opening. It would help if I zoomed in. And then we'll move our opening up until it meets the base like that. So now it's time to customize the textures to make it match our reference material. They are both glass, so I will pull the glass standard material to that OBJ. The top one I think will be fine as is, just looking at the reference, yep, it's clear, it's good to go. But to achieve this frosted texture, I'm going to click on the bottle, I'm going to open up this menu. Right, from this menu, I'm going to play with the roughness. That's what's going to texturize and give us that roughness. So let me go look here, and yeah, that is giving us the frosted look. If I go back, I can play with the degree of the roughness and try to match as close as possible that source. So I think I was good with where I was at. That looks pretty great. And that's it. This is a really easy one. There's just one part to it. Um, next, I could add a cork, but for the purposes of my label mock-up, this is all I need. All right, guys, that was a quick and easy one. Thanks for tuning in. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to suggest what bottle I should do next or a jar or, I don't know, candle, like give me some ideas and I'll create them for you. Until next time.